game just to get my fatty. And these lazy ain't got competition. It's me versus me, love key top game. Key Talk Society, check it out. Before the video gets started, I need y'all to like the video, you know what I'm talking about? You know I'm gonna come with the content every day, all day, you know what I'm talking about? like the video for me, take two seconds. Anyway. So we all know that the YSL case been completely crazy. You know, the lawyer been making, I mean, not the lawyer, the judge been making people do homework assignments, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, threatening to put people in jail, all type of stuff. Well, it does look like now one of the lawyers has actually been arrested. So one of the lawyers is representing one of the YSL members have been arrested. Now you might be scratching your head like, how in the blue hell did the lawyer get arrested? You know, to my one of the lawyers there. And, and what's even crazier about it is the lawyer was arrested and now she's included in the whole YSL case, right? She actually was arrested for gang charges. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this lady was arrested for gang charges. They're pretty much saying uh, that she told her client before it was her client to like hide some phone uh, because the police was on the way to arrest him or something like that, right? So maybe he kind of, she knew what was up, what was going on before, um, you know, before her client even knew and she was just giving him a heads up well before it was her client and that's really where it comes in at because he wasn't a client yet right so uh, i'm gonna read y'all exactly what it says so it says breaking ysl defense attorney nicole Fegan arrested on gang charges confirmed it says Fegan provided information uh had learned during a preliminary hearing okay so she learned some information during a preliminary hearing related to the shooting and advised the suspect to dispose of his phone as police were going to arrest him she was not representing him at the time police confirmed so she listen she had her ear to the streets really her ear to the courtroom Heard what was going down, y'all talking about knew that Buddy was about to get arrested. So she told him, hey, listen, man, you might want to throw this phone away. Go hide this phone somewhere because they coming for you, bro. And of course, you're going to do that. And that interferes with the police pretty much being able to do their, you know, their job. Right. Um, it continues and it says Fegan is charged with participating in a criminal street gang activity and criminal solicitation to commit the offense of tampering with evidence. I could definitely see the tampering with evidence. However, she's a lawyer. So, you know, with her being a lawyer. She going to beat the she going to beat her own case. Now, I don't know if she'll be able to go back and represent Buddy that's on trial, though. He probably going to have to find him another lawyer. And who knows if they had like some type of connection where you like, you know, where he was doing it for the law a little bit. You know, talking about until he can beat it. And then, you know, talking about double back with some more paper. You know, talking about all lawyers may not do that. Uh, like I say, she was she knew him before this trial and told him to do that. Then they probably had a relationship, not like a intimate, not like a. Uh, like a Fannie Willis, Nathan Wade kind of relationship, but like just maybe like a working relationship. Who knows? Could have been the other way too. You know what I'm talking about? She's a little baddie lawyer. Let's just keep it a hundred. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, but with that being said, um, you know, sh although she may beat her case with this gang charge now, her actual license may be at stake, you know what I'm talking about, uh, with the bar. Because, you know, all lawyers have to, like, go to the bar and get, like, their bar test. All this stuff, right? Take the bar test to get their license. So, they may end up revoking her license, taking her license away from her, potentially. Now, I will say, they take that away, she'll be fine because she's a little baddie. And she got OnlyFans. <laughs> Anyways, no, nah, but no, nah, but for real though, uh, this is just wow. I mean, one day this gonna all be turned into a story. You know, talking about the whole little thing gonna be turned into a story. You remember that was one of the guys that he uh he he his mama went to the courtroom and tried to pass him some. You know, talking about whatever it could have been, them things right there. Try to pass it to him in the courtroom and got busted with that so it's just a whole lot of stuff that's going to go on uh if, once they do turn this into a movie i'm telling you that right now uh this was just a quick update dog i just want to let y'all know what was going down with the ysl case just in case y'all ain't heard of it yet uh but i'm gonna definitely keep my ear tuned into the screets you know I'm talking about to make sure i keep my ear tuned into the screets and then my voice tuned into y'all so y'all can know what's going down 24 7 anyways listen like the video for me though it helps me out a whole lot of that that's actually what helps me grow as a streamer uh, is you guys liking the video because it shares more spreads it more uh, and i do appreciate every time y'all do that so and that's the only thing that i've asked for y'all let me know some coming down below let me know what you think about this entire deal i'm out